We all remember the time when we used to create a bunch of applications to check for vulnerabilities in Android applications. Then Drozer came into existence, an open source all-in-one combination to check your application against known vulnerabilities. Drozer is a tool used for automated Android app assessments. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video we are going to learn how to get Drozer on the Windows platform, and how to configure it. Before getting started make sure you have subscribed to my channel, if not yet to then click the subscribe button now, and also press the bell icon to stay tuned when I upload a new video. Now follow my steps to get Drozer up and running. Before we proceed further, make sure you already have Java and ADB up and running on your Windows workstation. If you don't know how to install them, then click the i button to watch them now. First, visit the official GitHub page by searching Drozer GitHub. Click the first link. Now we are on the GitHub page. From here click on release. Now scroll down and download the appropriate version of Drozer if you are working with a different setup. Now download the appropriate agent file from here. After downloading, extract the downloaded file. Now run the Drozer installer. The installation uses the usual Windows installation wizard. Now click Next and choose the destination location for Drozer installation. As shown in the preceding, the default location is C, Drozer. It is recommended you use the default location if you would like to configure your system identical to ours. Follow the wizard's instructions to complete the installation. Now click finish to complete the process. The preceding installation process automatically installs all the required Python dependencies and sets up a complete Python environment. To check the validity of the installation, perform the following steps. Now go to the destination folder of Drozer. Now from here open the command prompt by pressing shift and right click on the mouse. Now, install the agent.apk file using ADB. So copy the agent.apk file to the Drozer folder. Now from here open the command prompt by pressing shift and right click on the mouse. Now from here, just type, adb install agent.apk. To start working with Drozer for your assessments, we need to connect the Drozer console on the workstation to the agent on the device. To do this, start the agent on your emulator and run the following command to port forward. Make sure you are running the embedded server when launching the agent. From here type adb forward tcp31415, tcp31415. As we can see, the command completed successfully without any errors. Let me check the help commands, just type drozer.bat. Now, we can simply run the following command to connect to the agent from the workstation. Just type, drozer.bat console connect. We should now be presented with the drozer console, as shown on my window screen. In my upcoming video, you'll learn going to learn the usage of Drozer. If you want any help or have any doubts and queries on this video, let me know in my comment section. I will provide you the solution as soon as possible. 